Welcome to the LibreTime tutorial on how to broadcast with LibreTime and Bot. LibreTime is a radio station automation system designed to empower stations to collaboratively schedule their broadcast day. To do this, the broadcast day is divided into different shows and specific DJ users can be given permission to schedule or broadcast during a specific time frame by giving permissions to a specific show. In most cases, LibreTime will be playing out pre-recorded tracks but it also has the ability to allow DJs to stream live remotely from the studio or anywhere with sufficiently fast internet access. The purpose of this tutorial is to show the basics of how to do this from the DJ point of view. If you're looking for how to upload and schedule tracks for your show, you can see the previous tutorial in our DJ series. Streaming live requires that you either have a studio set up that allows you to mix music with your voice or that you use DJ software such as Mix that is configured to support both track playback and microphone input. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to be concentrating on how to stream using this streaming software called Butt. Broadcast using this tool with your audio set stuff tree configured to route the sound you want to play through your sound card. The following description is based upon the default streaming configurations for LibreTime. If your administrator has changed them, you will need to get that information from them. But in general, this should work. First, make sure you have BUT installed. You will need version 0.1.17 or newer. Previous versions had a bug that prevented them from working with LibreTime. You can see a link to the BUT webpage below that contains download links. Once you have BUT installed, you will need to have a dedicated sound card set up and connected to your mixer. Next, we will go in and get BUT configured to broadcast directly to LibreTime. Open up BUT and go to Settings. Now you will need to add your server. If you're using a shared studio computer but have different logins for each DJ, then you might already have your server listed here. In this case, you can click Edit. You can also add a specific one for your user, but the settings will save your password and anyone with access to this computer will be able to stream during your show by selecting this. So we'll add a new one. And then we will type in Libre Time as the name. Then we will go to the type and make sure we click Icecast. Then under address, the web URL of your Libre Time install. So for the local hosted environment, it is just localhost. You would put in whatever your station's URL that you go to access it is. Um, now we're going to type in the password. This is the same password you use to log in for LibreTime. And then their IceCast mount point, we will do slash show. And IceCast user, we will put in the same user that you log in. And we'll click Add. Now we're going to make sure that the audio is set up. Now, the audio device, for the purposes of this tutorial, I will have the Blue Snowball USB. If you're using a USB mic, you might need to click here and choose Mono for the channel if it only has one. Otherwise, you might run into errors. Okay, and now when everything is selected, if you're using an external sound card, you would want to find it in here and choose it. Okay, and so now when you are ready, you can get started. You just click the play button. And if it starts showing this, then that means you were able to connect successfully. You can also record a copy of your show by clicking the record button. The butt settings is a menu where you can set up the record. By default, it's an MP3 based upon the date and time and stored in your default user directory. Since LibreTime doesn't currently record shows that are streamed, this is your best bet if you want to later archive your live show so listeners who didn't tune in can catch up later with it. You can confirm that you're broadcasting from the dashboard 
under the stream settings. And so we can see here under show source, we actually need to click the connect because by default, LibreTime isn't set up to automatically connect a DJ user. You can also disconnect by clicking that as well. So if you have a problem connecting with your system administrator, check with them and see, make sure that you're set up to broadcast under the specific time that you're trying to broadcast and that your username and password and everything are correct. There's also a master source up here that can override everything. And if you wanted like set up a computer in your studio that will always be able to broadcast, you could put in this password. But in general, this login shouldn't be given out as it provides the user with the ability to override another DJ's show. So there's also a setting that makes it so that it automatically will connect and disconnect when you connect to the stream and disconnect from the stream. If that setting is not enabled by your administrator, you will need to manually do this. And when you disconnect, you'll need to manually trigger this. You can also disconnect from but by clicking stop, which will stop the broadcast. But then you also need to go in here and disconnect it. All right, that is all. As you always can find out more information at discourse.libretime.org or report bugs or uh, feature requests at LibreTime under our GitHub webpage at github.com slash LibreTime slash LibreTime. Thanks for tuning in.